All righty, ladies and gents. So we're going to continue. And again, you're filling in the blanks where you do not um, see an answer. You have to pay attention and look up here. So you're listening, you're taking notes. So we left off when you are interpreting data, data, which data means information. Interpret means to analyze, really examine what's going on, okay? Remember, they could be circle graphs, bar graphs, line graphs, tables, tallies. You can even just tell me general observations. When you select and use appropriate equipment, technology, tools, metric systems, so maybe rulers, and you're going to use centimeters or meters, choosing the correct measurement to make those precise, accurate observations. It's very important here in fifth grade, you want to really start making quantita quantitative data. So more measuring, whether we use rulers, a graduated cylinder, to get more precise measurements. So when you're describing objects or substances, really tell how much, be more precise, quantitative. You can also collect qualitative data What's your observations to describe maybe an object's color, smell, taste, sight, how it sounds, maybe volume, the temperature. But remember, what does Mrs. Krieger always say? You have to make it factual, not opinions. So make sure you're filling in those blanks. And then when you're taking those measurements using your lovely quantitative data, We'll talk more about this in our next lesson. I'll pull out some science tools. A graduated cylinder is the first one here that measures volume of a liquid. A triple beam balance or a pan balance measures the mass of an object. Microscope gives us beautiful observations. And then we have a thermometer, which can measure temperature in degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. So yes, you will be using these science tools. And we're going to spend some time talking about lab safety in the um, future. So once we start actually moving and using tools, we'll talk about those lab safety rules. So it's really important as a scientist to be very detailed when we're talking about objects. So when I give you a lab sheet, you are telling me maybe who, what, when, where. Be descriptive, okay, why, how. And when you are actually sitting there doing your experiments and analyzing data, which is part of the scientific method, develop a model to illustrate or explain your conclusion that you reach through that investigation or experiment or lab. Maybe draw a, a figure, sphere, circle, cylinder, depending on the object. Maybe a number sequence. I like that one, so you're telling me step by step what you saw, one, two, three, so on, okay? Graphs are wonderful, diagrams, quick sketches, Maybe number lines. You probably aren't going to use a map, okay, in science. And if you want to write a story or detailed paragraph. So when you're also analyzing, okay, you're not just drawing a chart. You're actually saying, what happened? What's going on? Your job as a scientist here in fifth grade is identify patterns. What did you notice? What are some similarities? What are differences? By using those tables and graphs, did you notice you were constantly getting the same results or they were completely different each time you did it? So you're really analyzing that data, which means interpret, which means examine, which means you're looking for similarities and differences and patterns. Okay, so if we review our first week of science, when we're making those juicy observations, no opinions, and we're going to try not to just stick on sight, right? Not just color. We're not going to say it's big. Remember, I use the expression, it's bigger than and smaller than. That's more detailed. It's more precise, okay? Um, smell and taste have very similar adjectives, like sweet, sour, bitter, Okay, we're not going to say yummy, remember all.